This is a flight I made showing slips to a landing and a knife edge flight. I'll be in doing some slips with an Aronica Champ that I found over at Long Island. The boys over at Long Island made it. It's a free download. Nice flying little Aronica Champ, just like the one I learned to fly in. I'll be going up here to altitude, getting in the turning base leg. This is a grass field somewhere in Alaska that I downloaded with some free scenery. Anyway, we got the champ up here at the field at uh, pattern altitude. Be kicking in some left wing and some right rudder. Lower the left wing and kick in lots of right rudder. Try to keep the aircraft going down the runway for a forward slip. And as we get close to the ground, we let it neutralize the surface stick and let it settle down for the landing. And this one will be a right wing slip, right wing low. A couple of my friends asked me if I knew any airplanes that would uh, slip, and this little Ronica will definitely slip. Maybe they'll give it a shot. Anyway, we got the right wing down, the left rudder. As we get down close to the ground, we'll neutralize everything and let it settle into the runway. And this is a view with me sitting on the ground watching it do the slip. Lots of services, and I think this is a touch and go. Yeah, having too much fun. Thought he'd try it again. And believe it or not, this is a different shot. Still left wing low, right rudder, and I think this one almost runs over me here. Pretty close to me anyway. Yow. Alright, now I'm in a super pitch that I found at AFSIM. And the guy that put the flight uh, package together said it would do a knife edge. And so I downloaded it. And sure enough, it'll do it. Going into a knife edge here to fly down the runway. We'll be about 300 feet off the ground. And I was probably carrying a little bit too small airspeed there. I was probably, probably 90 or 100 knots. That's the reason the tail's so low, I believe. I don't know how to do this very well, but it does prove that it would do a knife edge. This is a cockpit view. Try to keep the wings 90 degrees to the runway. Tough to do. If you use the elevator to control your left and right direction and the rudder to throw you up and down. And your throttle kind of controls the altitude. And this is another view of it. Like the ailerons are controlling, acting as a rudder, and the rudder is acting like an elevator. And 
Well, I guess I should say the uh, the elevator's acting like a rudder, and the and the rudder's acting like an elevator. Maybe that makes more sense. And it will slip. It's just a very sensitive airplane, and uh, you have to get used to it. But it's a nice flying airplane, and I've enjoyed it very much so far. Well, that's about it. Two good flying airplanes. Hope you enjoyed it.